Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another Bulmar video. This is going to be my next pick up video. I hope you like the new setting, new placement, got a new digital ca camcorder, plays 1080p, so hopefully I can be uploading some better high quality footage for you guys who enjoy watching my videos and just want a bit of better quality from it. Hope this works, tell me if you like it. But let's begin with it. So, PC just went and gave me a notification. Thanks, Windows 10. But let's begin with the charity shop finds. We've got two games in the charity shop, to, uh, well, recently. Uh, two PS2 games, happy to get them. Um, one of them, so let's start off with a Crescent Suzuki Racing Superbike and Super Sidecars for the PS2. Very enjoyable game. It is, it is enjoyable. Um, so I've grown up around motorbike racing all my life. The dad used to race motorbikes like in the near amateur circuit in England, and um, it's a lot of fun. And it was a lot of fun. I was going so seeing the game where it says you can play soups uh, sidecars. Gonna get on that because I enjoyed watching sidecar racing. I thought it was kind of cool, and it always looks quite fun. So actually getting to play play them. It's it's just a pure arcade racing game. Is this? There's no. There's no real simulation in it, but the side cars do feel more like actual cars when you're driving, like an arcade car, but the and motorbikes do feel a bit more of a simulation. But overall, it's it's a game which is advertising two things, so there aren't a lot of tracks in it, with, well there aren't any real original tracks, they all seem to be like made from parts of real tracks, so you'll get something thinking, I recognise this car, this is from Knockhill and stuff like that, so you do get that, but... Not a bad game, nonetheless. I'm still happy to pick it up. The next one is a sequel to a PS1 game I remember fondly and still need to get a hold of. So, by the way, I've got some games for trade, which I'm going to put up on my Facebook. So, if you go onto my Facebook page, which is linked to my YouTube, have a look, see if you want to trade me for anything for them, because I've got I've got two games at the moment which I'm needing to trade because I've already got them. But anyway, I've got. Uh, Soul Reaver 2, Legacy, oh no, the Legacy of Kane series. So, this is a sequel to the Soul Reaver 1, and please focus. And this, this game, it is a third person, kind of open world as well. I mean, the arm is linear paths between everything, but it is a big open world, so it is a lot of fun with that. Um, third person fighting game, so it's your typical PS2 era third person game. Got a light attack, strong attack, uh, you can pick up weapons and can impale people on, and you've got to collect souls to regain your health, and various other things like that. The game is a lot of fun, and it was brought to us by one of the, probably one of the best developers still around who concentrate, especially on PC nowadays, and that's uh, Crystal Dynamics, even though now Crystal Dynamics have gone a bit, um, yeah, a bit downhill. <laughs> Seeing as they've become Xbox One exclusive, yeah. <laughs> but that last majority shop finds anywhere. So on to the next slot. Uh, the next slot is going to be from my retro game box. So this is so what my retro game box is. In case you haven't been following, is a monthly paid service. I play twenty two pounds ninety a month, and I get a uh, box full of random games for retro systems from like the NES era up to like even the PS2 era if requested. Um, I mean I've requested from the NES up to the N64 and I've missed out like PS1 and stuff like that because there's far too much garbage which I don't want on that unfortunately. But got some games here from them. Got four games, two Mass System, two N64. So let's get this started. So the first one that I got is the Lucky Dying Kuiper, starring Donald Duck, Cart Omer. Happy to get this, been wanting to get it for a while. It always goes cheap online, but I never seem to get off my bum and get it sort of thing. So, while well, I am playing on this, uh, while playing on this, it's a uh, action platformer, um, and it plays in the way that uh, Ghouls and Ghosts does on the Mega Drive as well. In well, it plays like Ghouls and Ghosts in general. Where that two hits, you're dead. Got to start again from the beginning of the level. And um, you can get power ups in the game, like discs and like well, just discs at the moment I've got. 
<laughs> but um, the game itself is quite is is very fun. The only problem is some of the platforming can seem a bit slippery due to Donald Duck's character in it. Seems to be a bit floaty, and when he stops, there's always a bit of a go a bit forward before coming to a standstill. That might be because I'm using the Mega Drive controller though as well, rather than the normal Mass System controller, so I have to give it a try with that. But all in all, the game is really good. It's worth getting, and I'm happy to get this. So. Thank you to the people at my retro game box. I think one of the names of Katie. I'm not sure about the other one, but thank you. The next my system game is GP Rider. And can I GP Rider? I'm gonna hold it like that because then it's out of the sun. <laughs> so this game, it's kind of like a uh, hang on on the Mega Drive and the Mars system. Still by Sega though, not like third party or all. And it plays the same, the only thing with it is, yeah, I mean, you have full customizable, uh, ac well, Tom mode where you can choose the setup of your bike and stuff like that, which is kind of a nice feature. The other things that you that are in it, though, that I really, really didn't like one bit, is the idea that when you're playing, the top half of the screen is for who's in front of you, like who's ever in first place uh, or if you're in first place it'd be whoever is in second you've got a track of about maybe like 13, 14 people in it as well so there's a lot of people in it which is quite novel for my system game which usually it'll be, you'll be lucky if you've got like two uh, so it's quite good in that respect uh, the tracks are third party as well they're not based on, well some of them are based on real tracks and some aren't but more than all, this is just a good arcade, fun ri motorbike racing game. I just wish it were possible just to get rid of that top half of the screen and have you as like full screen rather than having to. Because I got confused first time that I played it with seeing the thing up top and like, wow, I'm moving. Now look down. Why is the computer stood still? Then I realised, oh wait a minute, that's me. So would have been handy to know that prior, but I can't have everything, can I? So. Came though, uh, it boxed, not with manual, not a big deal to be honest, as long as it's boxed, I'm quite happy. I'm well, happy to get in a game to be honest, I'm not one of these people who are obsessed with completing box. Some games I will try and always go for that. Um, like for me, uh, Mega Drive Collection, I will always try to get it complete in box. If not, I will always try to get it boxed, at least. I don't really like loose cartridges in that respect. So get on to the next two, so the 2 and 64 games. Happy to get this one, I've heard a lot of people go on about it, everyone loves the series, I never played on it until today, I never even played on like the one on Super Nintendo or anything like that, so I'm happy to finally get the chance to play on this, and that is F-Zero X for the N64. What do I think of it? Well, it's a high speed racing game, kind of like Wipeout in that respect, but obviously before Wipeout. Um, graphics haven't aged that well, everything still looks like a colourful block. But game it it works really well. It you feel like you are going fast when you're in there and you're constantly sliding around and everything. It is a gorgeous looking game. It's well, I say gorgeous looking, it feels it's a gorgeous game to play. It plays like pure gorgeousness. Is that right? Is that right? No, no, no. But the thing is there's a lot of characters to unlock, there's a lot of stuff to do, so you could end up putting hours and hours into this game quite easily, just trying to unlock everything as a good game should be. And yeah, I'm, I'm happy to get this, so thanks again, uh, people at my retro game box, I really appreciate you putting some good stuff in here, and just keep up the good work, guys. On the, on the flip side to that, there was a game which I remember one article vividly in the UK had a thing about it and it was called John Romero make sure you are a bitch we all know John Romero is he's the janitor who worked for uh, ID games and he got offered to create a game because he worked on Doom by being the janitor and you know he wanted the rock star life and all of that that nonsense so but he did release a game finally from a company called Ironstorm who we all know Ironstorm for making the brilliant game Deus Ex, one of the best PC games of all time, even though it runs like garbage and everything, it's just the best game ever, it's play it as you want. On the flip side to that though, we have this. 
Daikatana for the N64. Problem number one. No battery save needs a memory memory pack. I remember when I first had an N64, I got a memory card because I thought, oh, I might have to use it on most games. I was wrong. Most games have battery saves. Not this game. No, you've got to have a memory card for it. It's the one and only game that really requires it. Number two. It is god awful. Controls are just horrendously bad. I mean, just horrendously bad to crowd. After holding, after hold down A and press the jump button, which is R. I won't mind. The left bumper trigger is unassigned. It's not in use. You could use that as your crouch button to toggle crouch on or off. But no, 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 don't want any common sense going to these controls at all. And num number three, it just looks like complete mud and garbage. It is so bad. I mean, I'm playing on it, I'm like, this is as bad as people say it is online. I never played it before this. I never even played it on PC before this because I heard it was that bad. I didn't even want to buy it on Steam with even the spoof write up that was there. And I'm glad that I've never... I've, I've got it, and I'm glad to have it, because it is an experience. Yeah, you, you have to experience how bad this game actually is on this system. But the third problem... If you're going to port a PC game to any console, don't go to the one that uses 64 megabyte cartridges. It just doesn't work. I mean, obviously we don't have this problem now, Mm, we still do, PC still overrules, but it is, oh it's just a terrible game, the good aspects though in it, I love the idea of going through different times and having all these fancy weapons, I like that, I like having to pick up many packs again, I like having to pick up armour and stuff, you know, I like the levelling up system on the side, if it was implemented in a better game, it would be amazing. But it was implemented in this, this, this game. I've, I've got nothing else to say about it. I'm, I'm fuming about it. I'm fuming about it. I'm fuming about it, mate. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. But I'm serious. Seriously, I'm on that. I am happy to finally get to play on it. It is a game that I've heard a lot about when it's fine. I'm finally able to see how bad this game actually is. So I am happy to do get this. And that's my rant over for that. So, the last lot of games, actually, I got from a shop in Bradford. And they've had an advertisement on Gumtree a lot, and I keep seeing it, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a visit, I'm going to give it a visit, see what it's like. So I went in, and I was, I was expecting more, because the pictures that they were showing. And I was looking, I was saying, oh, you know, I asked for a price, and the game he gave me a good price, I thought, to be honest. And um so but then the guy said to me, Do you wanna come in the back? There's a lot more in the back. No word of a lie. I went in the back, you had about four or five shells, all doubled as well, so you had one one thing in front of another <coughs> of Mass System, Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, N sixty four, NES, Sega thirty two X, Mega C D my mind blew up. I felt like I felt like I was in an episode of Game Chasers or something like being able to go into the back and rummage. I mean, it felt great. So, I picked out a few games that I was interested in. And it gave me a good price on all of them, to be honest. They were a, they were a good price, I believe, anyway, for them. So, I mean, I got three games from there. And I'm happy to get each one because they were all games I wanted in my collection. So, the first one is in my system game. Because... You know I love this system. <laughs> it's a uh, zillion for the mass system. Complete inbox that someone decided to write on the manual, which in which don't bother me really. Um, so this game, it's a uh, I would say it's mass system's answer to Metroid in the way that it's Metroidvania and. But instead of like, you know, you go around collecting weapons, you collect passwords. 
and um, you've got to figure out passwords more or less. So you you go into a room, you blow up all these like uh, canisters and everything, and then you get a code. Then you have to input that code. There are enemies to fight. It's it's a fairly advanced game, and I love I love the anime style of it as well. And it's got a gorgeous anime style to it, which is weird for a mass system game to have. It's normally in like the well UK if we get out like which was originally meant as like an anime type style game they'll rework it so there's no anime left in it sort of thing so it's I'm quite happy to get this been wanting it for a while obviously I want to get a zillion two now so shout out to everyone and has got it want to sell our trade just give it a shout so yeah I'm happy to get it it's it's a really good game I'm very happy with this um, again. I think it's um, direct deals in Lowmore Bradford. Ah, yeah, Lowmore Bradford, uh, direct deals on Uddersfield Road. Great little shop there. Um, so a lot of retro games. The prices aren't too bad. I would say they are, they are the mid high eBay prices though, as well. So bear that in mind. You are paying a premium because you are going to a shop, and they do have they do have you know to keep their doors open. It's not like an online shop where you can just do it from your house sort of thing. They have to keep an actual store, they have to pay for electric, water and stuff. So there is a premium on the stuff. But overall it isn't too bad. I mean I wasn't I wasn't offended by them where to the point where I said, Oh, I won't bother. I was actually quite happy with them. And the service there were really good as well. So yeah, Zillion two on the Mars system. And then I got two Mega Drive games which I've been looking for. So this one this one also got for a good price. Uh, ghouls and ghosts. Say, like I mentioned it earlier, I got this. So released by Capcom in 1990 on the Mega Drive. This game is well known also on um, the NES for being really difficult and yeah, in the arcade for being horrendously difficult. It doesn't change in this. You've got two modes which you can play from training a nightmare. Do you want to know what the difference is between them? Nothing. Just a little bit of more enemies. Even on training it is horrendously difficult. I have never ever swore so much at a game before until I played this. This made me think that I have Tourette's. Which I might actually do. But the game looks amazing on the system. It's a lot of fun, and even though I say it's Ren Steel, and I was swearing, there was not one time where I thought, you know what, I give up, I give up now. I'm gonna flip and get through this, I'm gonna get through this right now. And I'm, I was enjoying playing on it, I couldn't even get past second level, but I wanted to keep, I kept going and going and going and going and going. But I couldn't get past the second level at all, so I suck at this game, but I'm loving it so much. But yeah, the game. Not complete in box, unfortunately. It is missing the manual, it only has to go the way for it, which I'm a bit gutted about. Um, but again, though, I'm just happy to get hold of this. I've seen this go for like nearly 15 quid cart only on eBay, so to get it in case, quite happy with that. To get it for a price that I did, I'm quite happy for. But the last but not least is a game we can all agree is one of the greatest beat em ups ever on any system, no matter if you have a Super Nintendo fan or you know, you like to say, because I know you like to have graphics or you like anything, we can all, everyone can collectively agree this game is the best beat em up ever created and that is Streets of Rage 2 for the Mega Drive, complete in box. I don't need to say anything about this game other than it is complete and utter name. It is gorgeous. It plays well. You've got four characters: Max, Axel, Blaze, and someone else. Skip. <laughs> Ooh, who all have individual traits and everything like that. Uh, I'm loving the new combo feature that's in there as well, where you can like do actually pull off attacks by pressing certain button directions and stuff like that. So the way that Mortal Kombat works in that respect. Um, music is some of the best, some of the best I might actually put some of the music in this video from this game it is just amazing and I am very happy to own this 
and I've been wanting to get this for a while. But I remember playing this constantly. As soon as I got this, I plugged it, I put it in my system, I played it through there and then. And I enjoyed every second of it, and afterwards I was like, can't wait to go back to it now on the hard difficulty because I went through it on normal. So, to play get and, and to play this is just the bee's knees is this game. Very happy to get it. I love this game so much. If anyone hasn't got it, I recommend just go out of your way and get this game. It is fantastic. But yeah, that's my pickups for this month anyway. I've been bumped Marv. And if you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Tell me what you think about the new camera that I'm using. And yeah, uh, I've also uh, I've got some stuff that I want to trade. I've got like um, spare Mega Drive two system. Uh, I've got a spare PlayStation one system modified so it plays imports. And I've also got a few games as well for trade. I will be putting them up on my Facebook page. So that's www facebook.com forward slash bullet marv retro reviews or something like that I mean there's a link for it there'll be a link for it in my in the description below along with my collections.com website and everything like that so remember to comment share and subscribe and as I say at the end of every video keep on gaming <laughs>